Hi, in this video, we're gonna solve the exercise shown in front of you. So, let's start. The first step is changing the units. And as shown here, we have three axes one at zero, second one at four, and the last one at eight. Now start drawing a two segment bar. then join them sorry close this one and join them from here rigid link okay now we assign support we have the first one as pinned here and the second one is roller we apply it here Enclose it. The next step is assigning loads. As shown here, we have uh, three types of loads, three different loads. The first one is uniform distributed load of six kilobounds per feet. The second one is 15, and the third one has a concentrated moment of 20. We add load type. Select did load two and we add it. We have a moment of minus minus twenty. Minus twenty. Okay. And we apply it at x equals to zero. Correct and the direction is correct second load is z equals to minus 15 okay we apply it at x equals to 0 add then we apply it okay the third load is a distributed distributed load of 6 kips per feet so from here we get a distributed load minus 6 we add it here then close it you can show loads and their values 6 20 15 6 20 15 okay now we start analyzing after that we go to results and diagram for bars first of all we show the moments this is the diagram of moments okay As shown here, we have minus 20, and we have minus 80, and we have 0. And there already existed one in your textbook, minus 20, minus 80, and 0. The only difference is the direction of the diagram. Okay, now we draw, we see the drawing of Now let's see what is the shape of the diagram of shear. Okay. Um, from NTM, FZ forces. As shown here, we have minus 15, 32, and 8. 
minus 15, 32, and 8. Correct? These are the same values as the ones shown in your textbook. So we came now to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and share.